Hello and welcome in this video. For this exercise, we would like to find out the value of x such as x to the x equals 8. So uh, we are going to solve this equation with the Lambert W function. So first we are going to do a short recap of the Lambert W function, then we are going to solve this exercise. But if you want to give a try, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. So first, let's do a short recap of the W Lambert function. When we've got such an equation to solve, e to the x equals 7, then you apply on both sides natural log. Natural log of e to the x equals natural log of 7. And we know that natural log and e, that's going to end up with x equals natural log of 7 and we can leave this natural log of 7 as it is. No need to approximate or to give a decimal answer. This is exactly the same principle with the Lambert W function. The Lambert W function, the domain of definition if the domain of definition is when x greater or equals to negative 1 over e. So the Lambert function w, w indicates this is a, a Lambert W function, W of star e to the star equals star, whatever star is. Just let uh, illustrate this. W of e x e to the x equals x. Let's take an example to illustrate again. If we got this equation to solve 2x e to the 2x equals 3, then we can apply the Lambert W on both sides. And this is W of 2x e to 2x equals w of 3 and then we end up with 2x equals w of 3 and x equals w of 3 over 2 and we can leave that as it is okay so now let's go back to uh, this exercise we've got x to the x equals 8. We can apply the log on both sides and we've got natural log of a to the b equals b times natural log of a. So if you apply this to this equation, you get x natural log of x equals natural log of 8. So now to use the Lambert W function, we need to see e somewhere. Let's tr transform and x could be written as e to the natural log of x. So if we plug this now in this equation, we've got e to the natural log of x times natural log of x equals natural log of 8. We are going to switch these two terms. Natural log of x times e to the natural log of x equals natural log of 8. Now we can apply the Lambert W function and we end up with natural log of x equals w of natural log of 8. 
this is not over because we would like to know the value of x. So then to make this natural log disappear, we are going to apply e on both sides of the equation. So e to the natural log of x equals e to the w of ln of 8. So x equals e to the w of natural log of 8. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.